Welcome to Factorio Base in the Book. My name is Nilaus and we are up to number 14 of this beautiful Let's Play. And thank you so much for everyone who's been following. I can see this has been good for my channel. This is uh, actually the last episode or the last video I record when in a sub 100,000 sub uh, channel. I'm pretty sure of that. So um, do check out the check out the sub count on my channel maybe you're watching this many years later on the unlikely or maybe you'll just uh, be the one who actually just uh, flips it over to 100,000 anyway thank you everyone for uh, for supporting and subscribing and uh, following along with this series we ended last episode I wouldn't say on an anticlimactic note but we certainly have a bit of a cliffhanger we have our uranium coming in here but we're not doing anything with it one of the things that I also should mention is that I'll do do a bit of cleanup here and there between sessions. Like uh, we had like the belt, still some belts coming up from the old jumpstart base, and just you remember the iron belt going all the way over here. Now that's done. So just cleaning those kind of things up. I've also added another line of copper and iron down here just to, to get it up and running, so that I could have like dedicated lines going into the the green circuits, which obviously is pretty stupid right now because you can see that it's not working. So it's not working until I take this one and actually open it for uh, for deliveries. I will just send you back. Can I even do that? No, I can't even do that. Uh, I can send you back. There. And then maybe I don't need to send you back. You can, you can go to that one. Yeah, so that's uh, basically, I think I, I want one more train out there. So let's do that. I think I'll just... No, definitely not that train. Let's get one of these trains here. Remember the train. There we go. And move out here to a random track where I can place it. I think I want to place it there. Should be able to put it in here. And oops, one of the things that oh, what wasn't really working before was this part. This one was kind of a hack. Kind of a hack, to say the least. And I'm going to put it in there. And I'm going to put that one in here. So we can start working with this. That one will now be requesting there. Yes, indeed. So that I don't really care that it's running on stone for a bit. Ah, come on. That one. And this is just replacing it so that we now have a better or better consistency of fueling here in the base. And you know, these kind of things really also want to take those out. This one, it's deliberately not built yet, but we will build it. Oh, hello. Look at that. There. Are you out of fuel? No, you're still, you're still good. You're still good. Let's wait for my robots to come in because they're carrying a lot of bad stuff there. Moving on. Come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. And they're trying to come in here. This one, I would actually like this one to be upgraded to red. There we go. We are going to do a lot of red upgrades. So let's get get those when we can. Make sure this is good. Uh, we'll let the house robots take care of those things. But basically, we are going here and making sure that we have fueling. Still fine. And that is now working. So we're getting the uh, copper in here. This copper will be dedicated to going exclusively. Exclusively it'll be going to... Oh, by the way, how much you got actually? Yeah, over time it'll be fine. But right now it's obviously not going to be fine. Because we're suddenly adding many more locations that request this. Uh, this is still fine. I'll take it. This one, I made it... It's pretty bad, actually. You can see how uneven it is because it's not a true, true splitter here. So let me uh, let me get that sorted. Or is that actually how I want it? Did I want it like this? I don't know. We're gonna go into this one. Get. I think something like this. And we'll replace it. 
Now this is not side balance though, but I don't think side balancing is particularly important. I think it's more important that everything is... Is this done? No. Boom. Get it in there. Cool. <clears throat> now the next thing we want to do... Let's see. How is our power actually doing? Power is... Great. There's so much space here, so we don't really need it. I want to make nuclear power plant up here as well. So maybe I should just let the robots uh, clean this out so that we're ready. And do I have one that... Oh, I don't have one with the... F uh, with the tiles. Too bad. Well, I can do that later. Let me get... Let me get some requests here for... These ones, 12, I guess that's the good number. And how much we got? Do I have 12? Yeah, I have 12 and then logistic storage. So I just need one of those to build, start building down here. Right, let me, let me think about it. I think it's just gonna be input, output, input, output. It's gonna be this, but then I just replace it. And the top ones in it's gonna be built such as this. Then I just replace it with the assemblers with the uranium thingies. Where are they? Well, they're not here yet. They're not here yet. Okay. And I might need to build it like really close. Oops, I don't want to build like this. And, oh yeah, by the way, I should also, in these kind of cases, always make room for making it beaconized later. I don't know if I'm going to do it, but it is like this now. There we go. I'm happy. This goes to that location. Like that, and I am going to use my rate calculator. I think it's one of the first times I'm using the rate calculator. That is just basically giving us the summary of how much is produced, consumed and produced per second. The red is consumption, it's consuming 10 per second. So if I wanted to consume a red belt, which obviously I am later on, then I'd want to go something like this. There, that is a full red belt being consumed. I know it's kind of silly not having red belts then, uh, but but if you look carefully, we do have a red belt. It ah oh man, do I really need to upgrade this part to red belt? Doesn't matter. Now, now I do this. So at this point, I need to make sure that I have. Oh no, that's gonna be this one. So what is it I want? I don't know if I want to make it red. I'm going to make it in here, and then I'm also going to make... One, two, three, four. Yeah, one, two, three, four seems good. There. Alright, let's figure out how this is going to be. And we're going to get... Power, 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 power. This will be hard locked to the bad uranium. Yep. And this one will, if I remember to set this to the good one, that goes up here. And then it has to go just into a box of some sort. I'm just going to make a box here. That one. There. This will be locked to that. So that's basically how we start doing it and maybe at this point i would guess that one will be our nuclear fuel that we want to make got a few of these and let's see i am going to get iron in on this side as well because that's the only thing they're missing so i'm missing from this one from this one and that will be put into a box here so it's pretty simple. I definitely want to do this. I... Let's get the iron in. 
All right, so let's talk a bit about the uh, uranium. I have a masterclass about nuclear power in which I describe basically what I what the conclusion is that don't ever fear that you're going to run out. Don't worry about using your um, your uranium 235 the expensive one. It's you can you can use it for building a nuclear power plant even before you have coverage. A lot of people basically can't don't want to start nuclear power before they have coverage. There isn't really a problem. The the essence, the essential part is you want to do this so that you are actually always consuming it and always converting. You want to convert as fast as possible. Pfft. Really? Get that in there. Right. So you, you want to convert this. I don't want to carry any more of these. It goes in here, gets converted, and then it just starts building a stockpile. This stockpile is going to be fine. This one will also eventually go up. Let's have a look at what else are uranium. I think I'd like to get uranium bullets now. Uh, what else do we have down here that we could get? The other ones are not particularly interesting. Corex, of course. Radio controllers will take that. Uh, we'll also take, I suppose we could also get some, some of the other ones just because. But uranium ammo is going to be the big one. Let's have a look at our science up here. Yep, it's working fine. We're not going to rush into getting the next, uh, the purple science. It isn't really needed for us at this point. Oh, there's clearly something, yeah, one of these incorrectly placed. Good. Let's have a look at our, I can see this one flashing. That's not good. How, how much storage do we have here? Ah, okay, 17,000. Okay. Here, now, Let's look at our overlay 5.9 red circuits or red belts. I think it's time for us to build. Uh, just make sure that all of this down here is upgraded. Boom. So that gets updated and that gets robots quite busy. Quite busy indeed. And this part I'll do without this, but with the tiles, thank you. And then I'll take that and just stamp it down a few more places. I also want to make a lot of landfill because at this point, why not do excessive robot abuse? Got there and we want to go for the, oh, damn it. There and we want to get go for the robot abuse in with our nuclear power is also very important. So I think we might just be in time for starting nuclear power as well. I'd like to also make a lot of landfill here. Uh, I don't think that's a smart idea, but you know, that's not really something that stops me very often from, from doing things, whether it's a smart idea or not. How much landfill do we have in our inventory? We have 8,000. Yeah, that's okay. So the landfill I want to make is, and it might be a bit silly, uh, why can I not do that? Okay, so I'm going to do this first. And then I'm going to do that one second. So that will just gradually get done. And then I will also do some more, which will be more around this location. Oh, that's perfect. That will now go out. And then from here. That part. And... That's okay. Next one. And next one. Oops. Yeah. That's done. This one. This one actually also needs to go out further out. Because it needs to go out and connect to next. Okay, so that's actually pretty good now the robots going to be very very busy i just issued 3000 commands plus some many more commands plus a lot more commands what this does for us is actually something that's uh, super interesting or super relevant it allows us to go up here ah this is something i should have been scaling up long ago this part give me 500 because i'm going to get like an absurd amount of these and this is one of the things that I'm sure a lot of people would go like, ah, you need to automate it. And I'm like, yeah, I don't care. There we go. I'm just going to build all the offshore pumps I need. I don't imagine ever using more than what I just built here. So having a dedicated location for it when you really need a finite amount, 
I don't know. I mean, I have I have tanks, which is probably, hopefully, a finite amount as well. Uh, what are they doing? No, don't do that. Damn it. And I am going to get some nuclear power. There, that's two. This is how much did I pick up? Uh, that's not actually enough. This one should be 120. That one and this one should be 200. Only got 60. That one and this one should be 300. So I'm going to pick all of these things up. And now when I go up and start building it, it will be my robots doing it. Not any uh, house robot. No, I, it will be my robots building it and not... Uh, not the... The house robots because the house robots will be bit, will be too busy with other things so i'm going to build a nuclear power plant right there and we have luckily a nuclear power plant here this is the ultimately scalable one that scales infinitely and is the best one this is the small one that just gets you started but since we are using city blocks then i am really inclined to use the city block pattern i'm going to stamp it down because now you can see that it's my robots doing the work hopefully and at this point, remember, we are... Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, that's something that's super, super important. I do not want this one to be made at this point. Nope. Shoot, how much? We got eight already. Um, yeah, I don't want this one. So I'm actually going to do a... From this to this... Ah, screw it. No! They're coming up here. They're coming up here. They shouldn't go up here. Okay, I have to take these out because I really don't want this to be started. That's the disadvantage of nuclear power. Is that it will start working immediately. And I don't want that. I don't want that at all. Alright, so let's talk a bit about this nuclear power plant. I, if I just take the whole damn thing and then we can see some numbers. So this is revolving around 200 turbines and 120 mm, heat exchangers. So 100, each of these 100 heat exchangers, they take, uh, they take 103 water in. But I'm just going to ignore the 103 and I imagine that they have 100. So this means that I have... 120 times 100, that's 12,000. I need 12,000 water inbound, and that produces 12,000 water, which is exactly what the 200 of these, they can consume 60 each. So this one, this whole thing will be uh, 1,120, or I think, let's see if we can do some calculations. That's my building calculator. It is going to be 60, no, it's going to be 200 times 5.8, isn't it 5.8 they have each? Yes. I think it is. Yeah, 5.8 megawatts. So that's 1160 megawatt of power. Now the next part, and that is honestly the worst part of uh, nuclear power is not building it, not designing it. Although those are fun and challenging and sometimes annoying. But the real challenge comes when oh, you need to actually get the water in because that is an absolute nightmare boom so that is water coming in on one side well it isn't here this is why we're going to need so much water in here and more water Right. Oops. So I need 12,000 water inbound. There is no way that you can do this with with water trains coming in. Uh, if I'm using a water train, if I had a water train of 1.4, then I would need to have one train unloading every eight seconds for each of these nuclear power plants. And I expect to have one, two, three, which should be uh, fueling all the base we would ever really want to have here. Now, at this point, this is when we get into the next more difficult part. That's going to be here. And I will... Uh, I think it's a good time to explain something really fundamental about 
Nuclear power. Oops. How many? Is this how many is that? That's way too many. Sixteen. Boop. Or right, something fundamental about water. So if you look in the factory wiki, then under fluid something something, then for each pipe segment, if you have more pipe segment or more pipe segment between the pumps, then the water pressure and therefore also the water flow will decrease. Now that's in most cases it's irrelevant because you're dealing with less than 100 or with less than 1000 per second and in less than 1000 I think it's I can't remember exactly but it's uh, you can make a lot of, of uh, pipe segments but in this case I want the offshore pumps that are pumping out with 1200 per second I want that to be maintained 1200 per second all the way through so that I can get in and get the 12,000 per second so that means all of these have to have at least 1200 per second in all the pipe segments so if I want to make sure that I maintain this I am not allowed to have more than 17 sec pipe segments in a row without a pump now it seems completely weird and arbitrary and it is it is indeed, unfortunately. It is completely random, arbitrary, and that's just the way Factorio is working. So what uh, we have to do is we have to make sure that we don't have too many segments. This is why I always make pumps for each, for each segment. If you look here on the bus, I have these pump segments, not because they are gonna be needed, but if I didn't have pump segments at all, then I wouldn't be able to maintain the flow from, let's say, this segment here. So when it comes in here, you count the segments as one, two, three, four. You don't count how many undergrounds, this just counts as one. So basically you can do like this. Let's see, already now this is 27, 28, 29, 30 before the next pump segment. That means this part here is actually a problem and should be fixed. It means that I can never, from this belt onwards at least, get... And I just did an absolute disaster, didn't I? Yeah, this, that's a disaster. Anyway, <clears throat> so this one will increase the pressure and the pressure here. But because there are 30 segments in between, it'll decrease the actual flow rate to... I don't know. I'm just going to say something like 700 or something. Which could actually be limiting or it will be a limiting factor because I'm going to have to get it all the way up here. So I'm to maintain maintain it and this is exactly what i'm doing on this one as well i need to make sure that i have all of these segments built and as you can also see it's going to be a long while until i make it all the way down there for my uh the infrastructure thing right this is where i'm going to get the water from so that's that's going to be a bit of a hassle let's make sure that we do the piping here in the corner and again i have to just make sure that this the reason why I make 15 is because I'm going to need 10 here and then I'm going to need 5 over to the middle one and then from the other side up here I'm going to get 10 for this one and 5 for that one. So that's why I built 15. It's a bit crazy. I know. There. That one and I still have a few of these. Uh, you know what? I think I could just help this along by going here and just grabbing a stupid amount of iron. Oh, actually, also maybe no. I'll just uh, use the power of handcrafting as well. There we go, and that one as well. This one's full of pipes, so why not just steal that as well? And I can do that one, that one, there. I think that's as, as good as we can do it right now. And they're coming up here thinking they will be getting stuff. They won't be though. There and that one and that one and that one so that's good now the next five
Oh, wow, we're running out of power. Ah, how did that happen? How did that happen? Seriously? Someone has been using a bit too much power here. Hmm. Hmm. Maybe it is time for getting our nuclear up and running. I can't believe that happened. Oh, I did not. I didn't think that my robots in and of themselves could actually burn it out. Good thing I have laser. Ch oh, no. Wait a minute. That's not great. <laughs> How did that happen? I did. I okay. That is that's that's totally on me. <laughs> I did not expect that I would be able to overuse my solar panels. Well, there is luckily a good reason, a good solution, and the solution is issue more commands. There, these don't need to be here anymore. That's inside the base so don't need that anymore but <clears throat> let's get three more of these because if if we have too many uh, robot commands what are we going to do issue more robot commands so at this point i have the deforestation deforestation the upgrade of all of this three new blocks of solar panels all of this landfill and the nuclear power plus all the piping yeah, I wonder why they don't have any robots available. I just really don't get it. Why do I not never have why am I never having any robots available? I I I can already feel the comment section is full of head shaking. There. But you know, hey, we're building we are handcrafting our way to victory, and that's how it's always meant to be. Good. This will then be actually pretty good. I think I'll copy this. And get it in there, which means at this point, this can be considered pretty much a segment that I just need to repeat over here. Then I will also need to repeat it down there. And then somehow figure out how to get the water from in here in a meaningful way. And let's should do and I think I think even though it may seem like they are too close together, then I think I have to do this here as well. Well, I can place one of them. This one. Boom. So we need to make sure that this connects somehow. I can guarantee that a lot of these are not going to be pretty. It's always like this with pipes. They are never going to be never going to be pretty. Although at this point it looks pretty good. Huh? Ah, okay, like that. See, this is good, and this is good. And I will just, again, have some weirdness up here in this corner. So this is good, and this is good. But these cannot be here, because if I do that, then they're going to be connected. So I have to do this segment. can't have any of them connect then they're not just not gonna work so get this one uh, yeah that's again a problem put that here and we have the next one this is also going to be a problem so I have to build this here I think that's the corner, maybe. And there are some weird hacks here, but I can't allow them to filter into each other. Good. Good stuff. Good stuff. Going down here. Definitely don't want any of this. And I don't know. We'll we'll figure out how I want this done, what's going to be done, because this is... 
Ah, that's, there's a lot of ways that I can do this. By covering this area entirely, that means I'm going to have to get it from this side and I can manipulate it in a way that perhaps I could sort of get them all to be in line. It would be a bit of a trick, but uh, you know, I love doing these kind of tricks. I'm going to just get some 300. That's not 300. 300. There. Cool. But it's going to wait a while because let's see. Oh, we still have a bit of landfill. We don't have any. Well, we still have a bit of red belts left. That should be fine. How is the red belt looking? Red belt is still being upgraded here. No, nope. red belts up. Yeah, okay. There's a few belt upgrades here and there that still need to be going. That's good. Okay, there's still some things here and there. So definitely don't start scheduling more updates. I mean, obviously. Let me uh, go back to... Yeah, I think I might have still some nuclear power essentials here. Let me see. That one, that one, that one. That, 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 that. That's a lot of weird stuff. No more nuclear power plant things in my inventory. Nope, not at all. Good. So since our power is, well, can we say less than ideal, I think it might be time for us to actually get these inbound, despite the fact that everything... Did I... Did I remember to do it down here? Yes. Oh, shoot. I've used all of them. Yeah. This one will be requesting five. Yeah, and then we're out. That is not a problem. If you want to know sort of the details of how this works, well, I would encourage you to get the blueprint for this. The blueprint is... It's part of my masterclass, Uranium or Nuclear Power Masterclass. It is not gone through it in the Nuclear Power Masterclass because this is something we built afterwards for another series, but it is part of the blueprint nonetheless. So if you want to use this, and I think this is if you're working on nuclear power, then I know that it is possible to do a 10 nuclear power in a city block, but this one is just, it doesn't crowded too much and it allows these to be at the exact locations where they should be there's a few sort of i'm not going to say hacks but hacks <laughs> to to get it working uh, just the way it should be all right so what i want to do is make sure that all of this part here the this is getting okay it is it is actually honestly time for me to just let it rest for a bit of time so that we have the robots getting accessible again so we can start getting the water in here once we have the water in then it is time for us to start hooking up the nuclear power which is the big thing we want to do today and so we are back now that we uh, we've built this fuel line here or the water line everything seems to be pumping okay and of course nothing is pumping because the whole water supply is saturated so that's good this one goes up in the corner the weird corner goes around and over here and we also have still have a number of things not ready but you can see this is the steel furnaces and the solar panels so those will be done soon enough what i don't have though is let's see all of these are requesting five so what i want to do now is simply con going to convert our previous build our previous Uranium build back from a steel chest to a logistics chest so that it becomes part of the network. I've also set up a condition down here so that it doesn't uh, overuse. Basically, I'm gambling a bit on the power versus I want to actually build up a reserve here. So I now have 25 here. This one is saying don't take it unless it's more than 40. And this one should be converted. This is 188, but I really don't want it to be more than... Uh, more than 50 so this one fill up to 50 but only as long as this one is already above 25 or above above 40 this means that basically i have this amount of time to build up the next reserve up to the well now i'm 26 the next 14 of these and then from there on i should be good if as long as the cons the, the amount i produce here is greater than the amount i consume and it is then I'm fine. I'm totally fine. I, this is where you'd like to have better productivity modules. This is the most important one to get productivity modules, I think, at least in this uh, this part, until we have Covarex. 
So that means we should now have our nuclear power plant up and running. You can see I'm still crafting a pipe to ground or underground pipes. And let's see, we can also restart the science if there's something we want. Not actually. And when the robots are not absolutely crazy and we don't have science running at full speed, then we have plenty of power available for the base. So let's uh, get it started again because what, as soon as you have nuclear, it kind of it kind of wasted if you don't use it. So let's use it. There we go. Now we activated more research to keep going. And you can see this is our fuel being brought up here. That means there's probably not even, oh, none of it is actually enabled yet. So we are going to just see that. There we go. That's going to be the first one. Temperature is increasing, temperature increasing, 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 increasing everywhere. Looking good. There. Yeah. Every single one is now powered. What I'm going to have to wait for is just a slow increase in in temperature so that we can uh, we can see the nuclear power plant come online. So we're just going to wait for that to happen. The temperature in the reactor is now reaching 500 degrees and that means it will start working. It'll push the heat out here. This will also just need to slowly go up going all the way in. As soon as we get into this one, what is the temperature here? This is only 420, 430. So we see that from here, this keeps increasing the temperature and it goes out in the heat pipe. There's a certain loss of, uh, of heat. These are going to be the first ones to go that go on, where is that? 460, 470. Okay, so it's really, really close. How about our input here? Yeah, we're, we're slowly working our way towards getting all of that done. Let's have a look, 490. And as this one starts working and boom, we see just a bit of steam coming out, just random locations, but that's just where they do. The one thing I want to mention about nuclear. So we all know that nuclear power, this one will consume one every, I can't even remember if it's one every two minutes or one every hundred seconds, but it'll continue to consume this at a constant rate, no matter whether you use it or not. However, it will not consume the water faster than it actually needs to burn the steam. So you can see these will soon-ish, they'll be full of steam. You can see or they'll, they'll be slowly building up steam. But if the power consumption, as we will be able to see here, we're now seeing a third line coming in, steam turbines, and we should then be getting, yeah, steam turbines are coming in, looking good. They will cover all of our power needs at this point and keep filling up the accumulators as well. Just really spiking up here. But the thing that we have to keep in mind is that even if, if you underbuild this, you can't see it until you expect the nuclear power plant to run at 100%. When it runs at 100%, then it will consume 100% of the water. But if it's only running at 30%, then it's only consuming 30% of the water. And that means you won't be able to see whether you have provided enough water until it's too late, basically until you need it to run 100% to keep up with the power. And then suddenly you'll see it starving for water and then it all comes crashing down. So. What you need to do is you need to do the calculations up front, such as what is on here. You can see the pressure here or the consumption is quite low. And that's probably because we've now transitioned back all the way into, yes, back into solar panels. Done. These are the accumulators. We are now good for power forever and ever and ever. And with this power supply, we have, we have all we need. Uh, maybe I can actually see how much power we actually had this is the peak 390 megawatt of power was produced by our solar panels at the peak and right now our sort of capacity our usage is 200 what this means for us now is now power is good we just added 1160 on here although it keeps consuming these at a rate that we might not need to uh, need to do and there's a million ways you can you can constrain it but if you watched my masterclass you will also know that it is completely irrelevant to do steam storage don't even mention steam storage don't even mention it go watch my my <laughs> my my masterclass on uh, on nuclear and you will understand why that's the complete waste so what we can see here is this one will increase 36. This one, yeah, there's a lot of this is already being used. My estimation is that this one will not run out. 
my nuclear power plant will not run out. This one will go up to 40, leave the 40 here, and then we can have those 40 reserved to get started on the Coverex, which I believe is, well, one of the next things we want to do, maybe going into purple science from here. I'm really happy with this base. We can also very easily take this out. I think I'm actually gonna take this out just as we wrap up this episode. So I wanna thank you all for joining, for watching, for liking, subscribing. Uh, it's been super awesome and I really enjoyed this series and it's of course going to continue. It's gonna continue for a very long time. Thanks to the Patreon supporters who are supporting the work I do here on the channel. So thank you very much, all you lovely Patreon supporters. And then we can, uh, so this will continue and we'll probably even get into sort of mega base domain. Definitely we'll, we're going to be straining this to get the absolute maximum we can out of this with beacons, modules, blue belts, all that stuff. But it's just a gradual transition and I hope you want to be joining me for that journey for the next, I don't know, 30 episodes, 40 episodes. Who knows how many we can we can get to. Thank you everyone for watching. I will see you guys in the next episode. Until then, take care and stay effective. And you know, remember to subscribe just to push me over that 100,000. Thank you very much.